Jalen, you know, 33 today, wanted to uh, end the home season with a win for sure. Um, how did y'all feel? Y'all able to pull away uh, there like? Well, I think it was just a bounce back game from uh, the big loss that we had the other night. We just try to come out um, and make a statement and just try to get back to running because uh, I think SFA did a great job of slowing us down. So we just try to push the pace against New Orleans. And uh, I think they did a great job of slowing us down in the second half. But uh, we ended up busting open so much in the first half that uh, they couldn't uh, really cut the lead down like they wanted to in the second half. 33 for you tonight. What did you feel um, was, was just working for you off the well, I think I did a good job of um, pushing the pace and just getting um, easy layups or getting to the free throw line. And my teammates did a great job of finding me. And uh, they did a great job of screening and getting me open. And I just tried to make the open looks. You mentioned it was a bounce back game today. Uh, how important was it to, to have a, a pretty decent performance just to, to kind of go into the conference tournament on the high day? I think it's very important to uh, have uh, confidence like this and in going into the next tournament. Uh, try to carry over from this game into the next game. Whenever, whenever and whoever we play, just try to keep our tempo up like we did tonight. Number four seed, uh, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi beat Abilene Christian, so, so Christian to the number four. Uh, how do you feel about where this team is at right now going in as a number four seed? Uh, I mean, three or four seed, we're still going to have to beat uh, both the one or the two seed. So um, I don't think it was a big deal uh, with seed we got. We just lucky to be in, in the tournament and um, have a, uh, one by and try to get a win and then play one of the top seeds and try to knock them off and then play whoever we have to play in the championship to get to the NCAA tournament. And then I'm also working on a story about how scoring across the NCAA is, is down um, historically. It's, it's kind of trending down. Not the case in Natchitoches. Um, you know, which is some of the, the keys in, in how this team can score for us? Uh, I think we do a good job of just getting a lot of um, touches, like a lot of possessions, uh, the way we uh, push the ball up the floor. We get so many possessions that we have a lot of opportunities to score the ball. And uh, once, once your team get that many opportunities to score the ball, they would put up a lot of points. And uh, the type of pace that we play, uh, that has something to do with it too. I think the coaches do a great job of making sure that we get a lot of possessions and um, try to get a lot of points on the board. As a scorer, uh, scorer and distributor for that matter, um, th does y'all's pace allow you to get into a rhythm, allow you to get into a groove where you where you can score quickly? Like that? I think um, God placed me here for a reason. He uh, did a great job of putting me in the position um, with these coaches, and they do a great job of just letting me be free and pushing the pace and just getting in different um, spots on the floor to score the ball, and they just give me the green light to shoot it whenever I feel like it. And my teammates trust in and believe in me, and just like I trust and believe in them. So uh, I think it's a good job uh, for the coaches to give me uh, <clears throat> the opportunity to shoot the ball like they do. Do you ever hear from um, opponents either – guys that you know inside the conference or guys that you played against uh, outside of the conference about um, the challenge it is to play Northwestern State and, and, and that pace? I really don't talk to um, too many guys outside of um, basketball. So um, when we're on the court, we probably say a couple words. But other than that, we don't really talk about um, basketball, really. We just talk about life. j close to a triple-double, 33 nine dimes and eight rebounds. Uh, What's your secret on the board? You're 5'10", man. Oh, man, just um, trying to help the big guys. I think they do a great job of boxing out, and then us little small guards just come in and just clean up and get the um, rebounds from them boxing the big man out. And uh, guards on the other team just get back, so that's just free rebounds for us. Okay, talk about the closing stretch. I mean, UNO would not go away. Uh, Matt Killian uh, made some plays. You made a steal. Also, Tony Dobinson got a steal. Uh, you guys responded to the challenge. I think Sledge did a great job of um, getting his team ready and willing to fight the second half. They did a great job of punching us in the mouth first and uh, making a run, and then we tried to make a run and get away from them, but they wouldn't go away. They did a good job of standing, um, sticking around, but down the stretch, we just finished um, finished it out because we had so much of a big lead in the first half. I think they wore down in the second half. You've been part of two SC top 10 plays. <laughs> that lobbed to Pee Wee. Is that a third? I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.